Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. All right, TNT. So we all know Florida Man. Yeah, Florida Man and your birthday. See what happened. I yeah, so, the, I so I, I did I did a Google search for your birthday and my birthday just to see what stories oh. came up so we so, so we can have a uh, so we'll start we'll start with your birthday. I won't talk about what years they were, but I, I honestly the, feel like I've done this before and I know some of them. So. I took the first three results recently, and though. oddly enough on both of us, okay. two of the three were the same. So we only uh, get four results. Total. Dang it. Is it like, uh, it's a sexual offense, isn't it? No, I it actually is. none of them are. They okay. all. All right, good. Anyways, the first one for uh, you. The first one for me. Florida man ticketed after what? eating pancakes in middle of intersection. Wait, wait, what's my birthday? I'm not telling you. Don't like to talk about no, it. No, I can, you can tell. Don't oh, tell the, the year, but like the, the 24th is, of March. March 24th is my birthday. Right, right. 19, 20, 100. 22. 20, 100. All right. Florida man ticketed mm-hmm. after eating pancakes in middle of intersection. Florida okay. man was ticketed this week for eating the most important meal of the day and arguably the worst place possible. This is the one I remember. This is honestly the one I remember. Okay. So there's that one. Okay, okay. I I I don't know if I told you this. I went what? to about God, about a month or two ago. I went to well, a couple people I know. They do a ski ball league. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. and a uh, ski ball league. Oh yeah, it's it's hardcore, dude. Holy man! And, Ooh, there's so many things that come to mind when you say that. Yeah, like balls. Mm. And uh, so I wow. I was on my way there, and in downtown Austin, there's a freeway, and then there's a frontage road. For those of you who don't know, frontage roads are because some old school areas like Cleveland don't have them. It is a road that runs parallel with the freeway mm. to to help congestion to let people instead of getting off at an exit, they get off onto the frontage road, and then that's a road. There was a all I could only guess was a homeless man. I was at I was at a stoplight mm-hmm. at like Fourth Street or something. Mm-hmm. This man was talking on the side of the road, started just like losing his shit, waving his arms, pointing, yelling at some other guy, runs into the road. Typical. Yeah. Runs back into the road. Sounds like Austin. Runs back. Lays down in the middle of the frontage road. Yeah, okay. About a minute goes by. I'm like, this light is about to turn green. And like, what the F are we supposed to do? He's laying in the middle of the frontage road. Then like, gets up, waves his arms, goes up. Like, and then by the time he, the light had turned, he had moved back into the, but he wasn't, he didn't do it on purpose. He wasn't paying attention to the light. But yeah, he just like, he, he was so mad that he laid down in the road for like a minute. And then he got back up and went back over to like finish his argument with like the man on the side of the road. This is some wild shit, dude. I didn't know. I don't know what he was doing. I was like, oh, okay. This, this is what's hot in the streets right now. Yeah, oh uh, yeah. That's how uh, the street urchins are, Jonas. It's street urchins, hobos, wow. Jonas. Did you say home? What? No, hobos. Hobos. Yes. Wow. Is that the is that the proper term? I uh, no, it is not. We could refer to them as homeless individuals if you'd like, but that might bring down the mood of this otherwise lighthearted episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. But talking about homeless people <laughs> and their mental and their- because the guy who ate his pancakes in the middle of the road are definitely a homeless person. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, is that you I know mean, it was? I was about to do that this weekend, so don't judge me, bro. Nah, you were not. <laughs> go the go the intersection on yeah. Congress over here. If just... anything, if anything, you'd have something expensive like sushi or something. <laughs> Gold plated <laughs> sushi and like a soup, just like <laughs> eat your wagyu beef. My, my wagyu beef, raw beef sushis. <laughs> So All yeah, right, so give, me, a, give me another birthday. Uh, birthday uh, the other Florida one for man. you is. Oddly food related enough. March 24th. Let's get it. That one was 2017. Okay. So six years ago that happened. Yeah, the same this year one happened born. this year. Oh! When you were having all your birthday fun this year, happened this year. Florida man arrested for slapping woman with pizza during argument. <laughs> so Yo, some, you know in what? a bizarre accident, a man in the United States was arrested after he allegedly slapped a woman in the face with a slice of pizza. Hey, you know what, man? My 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 slice got equal rights and equal lefts, you know? Yeah. Did you slap a woman on your I, birthday with I pizza? I would not do that. Yeah. No, I would never hit a woman. No. <laughs> would you throw pizza at a I would throw pizza at a woman, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just because. Yes. With uh, malicious intent. With mal- like, oh, I'll just get so mad and yeah. throw it. Yeah. I want to hurt you with the pizza, yes. <laughs> I want to hurt you with the yes. pizza. I want you to feel pain. Lord. All right. On to me. Uh, All right, first you, one. What's, your, what's your birthday, John? You gotta give give the uh, give July two, July second. 
Yes, sir. Florida man arrested for pelting girlfriend with McDonald's sweet and sour packets. Okay. Florida man pelts his girlfriend in the head and face area with sweet and sour sauce packets Sunday because he was angry. There's a lot of uh, a lot of food, food fighting. A lot in of Florida. food issues going on on our birthdays. Yeah, in, in like, Florida. and it's very funny that a lot of these turn into like crimes. <laughs> I like, couldn't imagine, like, crime? all I see is, like, this girl, like, she's sitting on the couch, like, trying to, like, play Pagel, and, like... Play Pagel, yes. And, and all of a sudden, her mad-ass boyfriend's just, like, they have, like, they have, like, the drawer full of Taco Bell packets, but they got sweet and sour, because they only eat barbecue for McDonald's, they don't like the sweet and sour. Fair. And, that's, and th those things are sharp-edged, kind of. They, and, and he's they just, are, like, they're cow and, he, and he's just standing there, and just, like, pelting her with these packets, like... Why don't you go clean the laundry? Go like, clean the laundry. Or something. That's, and, dudes are always saying that. But, like, why would you use a... I was saying that just the other day. I, why would you pelt someone with packets of sa salt? Sa it, sauce, it, sauce packets? I don't know. Honestly, it sounds like some seven-year-old shit, honestly. Seven-year-olds? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like some like some preteen... Mom, you know, tell Jimmy to quit throwing sauce packets at me. Yeah, like your hormones are just kicking in. You're like running around pulling your sister's hair type shit. And it's like, why did the police even have to get involved in that? That's what it sounds like Because he me. probably hurt her eyes. Uh, No, they were probably homeless. Oh, maybe. Yeah. They were in front of a McDonald's. They yeah. went and stole them and were just having a show out in front. Yeah. Of you know what's crazy is that because Florida is so warm like year round is that it is kind of like ideal for you know, if you don't have a home. I mean, Texas least. too, dude. Yeah, Texas. I mean, look, Texas does the get last cold, though. Years, Florida doesn't get cold. Florida's not get like cold. the coldest it gets in the winter is what, like 60? No. I lived in Florida for five years, dude, and I saw it get to like 60 degrees Christmas Day. Well, like, yeah, like, but it doesn't really drop below 60 ever, like even Christmas, for the lows at night, right? Christmas Day, I was wearing shorts, like walking hey, outside. Sun in Austin, out. you can't do that. But, no. I mean, I do. Not anymore because I'm a Texan now. All right, but. give me another one with you, my man. Give Florida man pretends to be fireworks. June shouts 2nd. firecracker noises in middle of the night. Wait, wait, come again? <laughs> one more time, one more time, one more time. Florida man pretends to be firework. Oh, shouts yeah. firecracker noises in the middle of the night. <laughs> At midnight on July 2nd, ahead of the in Independence Day weekend, residents of Cape Coral Canal, Florida, were woken up by fireworks. <laughs> That's a harmless crime, right? I don't know. That sound, doesn't like sound disturbing very the peace. harmless. What do you mean doesn't sound very harmless? I want to go stand out in front of the neighbor's door and just be like, Boop! Yeah, I, I, Boop! I mean, it's annoying, but it's like... I mean, nobody's... it's a victimless crime. I'd see, I would say I would say the victim would be your neighbors who have to hear your bullshit. Well, I don't know. Fine. Yeah. Okay. That's that one's relevant. Like, what's the fine for that? Disturbing a piece, I assume. Oh, he probably got shot. <laughs> oh, forgot to get Florida. Yeah, Florida. Florida he probably yeah. just got shot. Yeah. yeah, dude. I don't know. It was. Uh, it, I thought that. I mean, I figured that would be something we could talk about. It, there wasn't really any. That was it. <laughs> I saw that on Reddit and <laughs> something we can talk about. Sometimes there's slim pickings for, <laughs> for topics on the podcast. I think we're talking about it, man. Hey, we're I know, right? here talking about it. Yeah, we're talking like, about uh, it. you know, what is your what's your second favorite day of the year? Let's look, let's look it up real quick. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why are you panic? Don't panic, all right? I want Florida you man, be, July 28th. Listen, listen, be let's, here let's with look me. Today. We're in the moment, all right? We're in the moment. We're here. We're going to get through this, all right? No, oh, no, we're going to get through. We'll look up today. We're going <laughs> to look up today. Florida man. What's the most recent Florida man news? Well, this is from <laughs> just, <laughs> just random. <laughs> Florida man <laughs> makes beer run with gator in hand. See, now these are these are not crimes. These are not crime. This is the thing. It's but I mean, like, that just shows the weird ass shit that goes on in Florida. You ain't gonna see somebody carrying a gate around in Texas. Yeah, it's so. But it's like it's so weird because like what they do have like with that one law in Florida where everything that happens has to be like public knowledge or public. Oh, is that why they put it all out there? Yeah, they have some weird law on record where every like police <laughs> man cheats on girlfriend tells her she deserves it. Like they put that yeah, in the paper. Yeah, every police interaction or something has to be like public documented. record. 
Public record. So if the cops get called, it's going to be in the paper. Yeah, and that's why you get a lot of these Florida men. You're like, why is this even a thing? And if somebody just, called the cops. Cause... And honestly, a lot of these things are probably happening. Like, I'm sure there's like Texas man walks into a Bucky's with an armadillo. You know, like, I'm sure but, that's but they're how... not putting that in the paper. Yeah, because it's like that. Bucky's that's... with an armadillo. <laughs> Because it's not a crime. I will. It's not. It's like just. It's like a headline. It's I watched a. Uh, I watched a quick video today on the episode. Yeah. This guy was telling a story how he got caught shoplifting at H E B and then just pretended to be deaf the whole time, and like got away with it. And, and yeah, they ended up dropping the charges on him. Like because he came in and he was like and he was like. So eventually they they brought in their their sign language interpreter and she knew right away when I was signing with her that like I wasn't like really good at sign language but she did she's not a tattletale she didn't tell on me or anything He's like, and they were like how did you know sign language she goes oh my mom's deaf I've been using sign language throughout my life but I'm not good at it and then they were like how did they make them think they were deaf and he was like and he said he talked like with the the accent of a deaf person like, yeah, like, it's, what, what does that sound like? I'm Jones? not gonna do it. Could you give me a little? No, this is a little taste. They can hurt. Google it. It's, I mean, come it's on. Google, that's all the time we have. It's the pod, like, though. It's, it's a pod. I'm all right. You're not gonna, no, I'm not appropriate. I'm not, gonna, dude. I'm not little, appropriate. Not like, no, 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 yeah, no, no, that's all the time we have this episode. <laughs> Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to crazytown.com for Jonas. No, TNT. Oh, yeah.